in this video we're looking at division and specifically the short method or bus stop method of division. Um, here's our problem, 261 divided by 3 and hopefully you can see how it is set out. So our 3 goes on the outside of the, uh, the bus stop, so that's the number we're dividing by and the 261, the number we're dividing, goes inside or underneath the bus stop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to see how many times this number, the number we're dividing by, goes into this number. Now we're going to start from the left hand side, which is a little different to how we do addition, subtraction, and multiplication, but we're going to do that. We're going to start from the left and work our way across to the right. So first of all, if you imagine we've got two here, and we want to see how many threes go into two. Well, if you look at the two dots I've drawn, we've got no groups of three. So I'm going to put a zero there. There's no threes in two. What we're going to do with that two though is we're going to carry it across. So I'm going to carry it across here to make this number 26. Now at this point we're looking at how many times does 3 go into 26. If you know your times tables it's quite simple, you can count up. What I've done is just created a quick times table grid for your threes, if you're not sure. So we can count up how many times we get to the next lowest multiple of 3, the 4, 26. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that's 8 times 3. 27 is too high because we've only got 26, so it's going to be 8, but we've also got 2 left over because we only got 24 in our 3 times table, and we've got 26 there. So that last 2 is going to be carried over to here to make this number 21. And again, we do the same thing. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, that's 7 times 3, and then we've got nothing left. So 261 divided by 3 is 87. Now down here we've got a similar problem. We've got 517 divided by 4. Again, setups are exactly the same. The 517, the number we're dividing, is underneath the bus stop. The 4 is on the outside. And we're doing the same thing. Now this number is going to have a remainder because it's an odd number and we're dividing by an even number. So there's going to be a remainder in there. I just want to show you so you can see how a remainder works. So again, we do the same thing. So if you imagine we've got five dots. You see that I've got one group of four and one left over. So in this case, I'm going to put one. So we've got one whole group of four. So it's four by one time with that one left over, and that one gets carried over to here. So now we go fours into 11. And if you know your times tables, you know that ne the next lowest multiple of four is eight. But again, I've got a times table there. So that would be twice, which is four, eight. And then to get to 11, we need to add three more, so we're going to put the other three there. Now, we have to do the last one here, so fours into 37, well 36 is 9 times 4, so it's going to be 9, but we've got one left over, because we only got to 36 here, so one more means we're going to have a remainder of 1. And that's our answer, 129, remainder 1. Again, if you know your times tables, these methods become a lot easier, so it's really important you learn the times tables. Okay, so there's a couple here for you to um, try yourself, because we've got 216 divided by 6, and that's set up there for you, and 528 divided by 5. So if you want to pause the video now, and then I'll show the answer in just a moment. So here are your answers. Um, I'm just going to talk through them very quickly, because this video's already gone on for a bit. So first of all, 6 is into 2, doesn't go, so 0 there, carry the 2 over. 6 is into 21, well the, the nearest multiple is 18, that was 3 times 6, and that gives us 3, and 3 left over as well, because 18 um, to 21 is over 23. And then 6 is into 36 goes 6 times, so our answer there would be 36. This one here, 5 is into 5, goes once, with nothing left over, so there's nothing to carry across. 5 is into 2, doesn't go. So there's a 0 there and the 2 that carried over. And 5 into 28. Well, the nearest multiple of 5 that's below that is 25, which is 5 times 5. And that means we have 3 more to get from 25 to 28. And that goes as a remainder. Learn your times tables and you'll find this very, very easy. I hope this helps.